all right uh, this is bank nifty and daily chart now i can see bank nifty last uh, two days uh, here you can see price not able to create the previous higher point so according to rsi here you can see they are losing their momentum or you can say they are losing their strength uh, somewhere here you can see price are creating higher high higher low and a higher high you see now price are dropping down and in the same time you can see rsi also creating higher high higher low but next time they fail to create a higher low, uh, high now you can see uh, price are creating higher high and in rsr you can see they are creating lower high so means that they are losing their momentum so once they appear uh, we are expecting that price will drop to the level of uh, let's uh, just a minute uh, near 200 supporting line all right 200 uh, exponential moving average who are forming as a support so now i can see i want to draw a uh, horizontal line connecting uh, 200 exponential moving average somewhere here you see it okay now i can see so we are expecting that price may give a correction to the level of 23500 okay so we are expecting and here you can see in the nifty i have some uh, position let me show you and i place a two trading strategy one called 16 delta trading strategy and another short straddle all right another short straddle trading strategy some profit are there i think here you can see and i bought uh, here you can see 16 9 uh, 2020 both are there 16 9 2020 and that was script uh, nifty and expiry date was 45 days left at that time now it's going to expire 29th all right so i bought uh, 16 9 uh, 16 somewhere here all right i bought uh, sorry i place order 69th and i think next uh, thursday it's going to expire and first strategy i applied that was short uh, short straddle i think uh, you people know short straddle like that by both a cell it should look like that all right so it should look like that okay and that is a short straddle and another 16 delta okay this is 16 delta 16 delta look like that 16 delta look like that okay and at that time here you can see uh, my premium uh, call premium was 321 and uh, put premium was 277 and IV percentile was 18.78 uh, and another put IV percentile was 18.97 and call delta was 53 and uh, short sorry call delta yeah and here you can see 46 uh, put delta and maximum profit uh, showing at the time 44,842 and profit of probability was uh, 55 percent and uh, right now you can see this is the profit and loss uh, here you can see 10,000 is profit is showing in short delta uh, short sterile and again you can see this is 16 delta and i sold 12200 call option and against here you can see uh, 10700 put option it should look like that it should look like that all right when i place my order sorry not this one it should look like that uh, here you can see this is the put uh, it is 10700 and upper side here you can see one two 200 so it should look like that 16 delta okay very interesting so at that time premium was 52 and 84 and percentage 15 percent uh, sorry IV percentile and 23 percentile okay now you can see uh, call delta uh, was 16 and both are same call and put and total profit is 8900 so this is the option trading so we are expecting that price will expire 
uh, below 12,200. All right, all premium will be zero somewhere here. Let me show you. Uh, yeah, so we are expecting that price will expire here. 12,000. Okay, 200 somewhere here. Okay, here. Now I'm expecting that price, uh, this, and I'm expecting that price will expire below uh, 12,200 here. You can see. So it should happen, then I'll collect the all premiums here. All right, now you can see in a bank nifty, uh, bank nifty, here you can see I'm not expecting that they will create a new high, but uh, uh, maximum target is showing uh, this is the previous high point. All right, now question is that can I, can we go for buy right now or can we go for short by using RSI divergence? Uh, my answer is no. Now you can see here I want to connect most the recent swing point here you can see. Uh, this is the swing point. Uh, here you can see price hit and hit and hit. Uh, now we need a breakout. So once price break this level, so definitely I'll go for short. But I'm not interested to take sell right now. So we need a breakout in this area. So once price break this level, so definitely I'll go for short to the level of twenty three thousand five hundred somewhere here. So all right, again I will buy in this area. Uh, now you can see in a small time frame, can I go for buy? Now in that case, uh, here you can see we are looking for buy after getting a confirmation. So what type of confirmation we need? So in that case here right now you can see I uh, will apply breakout trading strategy. All right, we will apply breakout trading strategy. So here you can see this is uh, the rejection point. This is the rejection point right now and let's just jump to 15 minute time frame it should look like that so in that case we are looking for buy after breaking this level so uh, in this area we'll apply breakout trading strategy otherwise we are not looking for buy now we are looking for short after breaking this level because uh, why we are looking for so most of the people are thinking hey trend is up so why we are looking for buy oh sorry uh short uh, because uh, RSI is just showing a trend divergence pattern. That is why we are looking for short. Remember, we need a breakout. Uh, this 200 exponential moving average. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.